The Intellectual Stripper I was already at the top of my career, moving on from the striptease ghetto to a full-fledged burlesque act, to the Zigfield Follies, Hollywood, the New York World's Fair. Now I could pursue my dream of being a successful writer. Gypsy Rose Lee was already a star. When I moved into 7 mid Street with Carson McCullers, Wiston Auden, and my friend George Davis, I was all fired up to write a murder mystery. The G-String Murders, the murder weapon of Chorus Girl's G-String. When I didn't have to attend a meeting downtown or make an appearance at a charity event or attend a Broadway opening, I spent afternoons in my third-floor room working with George on the plot, the death of Lolita Laverne and the rest. But the trouble with writing? It's hard work, and not having a contract with a publisher was like being all made up, ready to go on stage, and not knowing what theater you're playing. So just before Christmas, I told George I was going to Chicago to join Mike Todd. I worked on G-String in my dressing room, writing revisions while starring in several shows a day at Todd's Theater Cafe, collaborating with my editor, Lee Wright. But you know what? It paid off. After the G-String murders came out, by winter it was the best-selling mystery since Dashiell Hammett's The Thin Man.